Hello you guys, welcome back to my channel. Today, for you guys, I have my nude favorites in lipsticks, lip glosses, and lip liners. Sorry you guys, I also do want to note that during the video, you will be hearing my kids because they're in the room with me, motherly duty. I hope you guys enjoyed this video, so keep on watching. So today, I'll be starting off with Artist Couture. These are in the shades Striptease and Uncensored. Striptease is a little bit more on the pink tone and Uncensored 2.0. I forgot to say it's 2.0 because I guess there's a um, just a regular Uncensored before this one. So yeah, I'll be showing you guys these two colors. So I'm gonna swatch strip tees first. So let's see. That is a beautiful nude pinky color. Looks just like that. The next one is Uncensored 2.0. This one is a little bit more of like a purpley brown. It is super pretty, you guys. Let me see. These are such messy swatches, but you can see that. These are super, super gorgeous. And the next one that I'm going to do, they are the wet and wild so also they're kind of like um lipsticks these are i guess the wet and wild liquid cat suit high shine lipstick i have them in two shades one is in caught you bare naked it's the more nude one and the other one is in send nudes this one is a little bit more pinky brown so let me swatch these for you guys. Maybe it's too bright. That's what that one looks like. So the next one I'm gonna show you guys is Caught You Bare Naked. This one is a lot more lighter and more nude. This one is like a super light, pinky brown nude let me see that is so gorgeous next up i'll be showing you guys two nyx products that i really really love they are my new favorites that i'm wearing lately so um, the one that I have on my lips right now is the NYX This Is Milky Gloss. This is in the shade Milk and actually Cookies and Milk. I'm sorry. It's in the shade Cookies and Milk. Let me show you guys how this one looks. Well, you also see how it looks on my lips as well because that is what I have on. Let's see. So that's what I have on right now. And then the other one that I've been into is the NYX Butter Gloss in Cinnamon Roll. This one is a more darker tone, cool tone nude, but it is still so pretty. The thing about this one is I've noticed that once you do put it on your lips, um, it gives you, it neutralizes your lip color because you know how your lip color looks warm, like a warm pinky tone color. Once you put it on, it neutralizes your lips and just gives you this beautiful glow, like a lip glow. I don't even know how to explain it. You guys would just have to try it for yourself. Just take my word for it. Um, The next one is from Morphe. This is um, the Madison Beer lip gloss in mercury this one is super pretty as well 
and it looks like this. I'm trying to swatch it as best as I could for you guys. I'm trying to show it without the sun tinted on it. Because I am using natural lighting. I forgot to show you guys the Madison Beer packaging if you guys have not seen it yet. It has the, it's in the same um, Morphe packaging except that the cap, um, this part, is white. It is super sleek and super cute. And the next one, it's a liquid lip. It is by Dose of Colors. This is in the shade Sand. This is a popular that um, this is a popular one that normally when I wear, people always ask me what is on my lips, and it's this one, Sand. That is gorgeous it's a brown tone nude and if you guys know me you know that i just love my brown tone nudes they are chef's kiss so the next items that i'm gonna show you guys they are from mac these are five lipsticks and lip glosses from mac that i'm gonna show you guys so the first one that I'm going to show you guys is actually going to be a lip gloss. This is actually sold out, but the closest one that I think you guys can get to this is probably, I want to say see-through. Because I know they don't make this one anymore, but when they were like selling out of this, I had bought a couple backups of this one. is really light nude it is so pretty by itself or on top of a lipstick and lip liner or just with a lip liner and just this so now we're on to lipsticks i'm gonna show you guys the lipsticks that i got from mac that are my favorite nudes so this one is jubilee it looks like this It seems like on camera it's coming out like a pinky nude but I feel like this is more of a pinky brown nude than it is just a pinky nude I think I forgot to tell you guys the name it's Jubilee Jubilee the next one I'm gonna show you guys is fresh brew this is also a cool tone lipstick it is so so pretty this is a sheer tone lipstick, so it's in the luster. And that's what this one looks like. It is gorgeous. It's a cool tone brown. The next one is Cream de Nude. This one is one of my favorites. I used to pair Jubilee and this one over on top of each other all the time. And people would always ask, what was I wearing? That's what that one looks like. It's weird because on camera it is coming off like a pink tone, but it's not. I don't know you guys, I can't help it if it's coming off a different color, but just know it is so pretty. And this one is actually a pink nude that I love. I would always wear this with um, Backseat Love by Morphe, their lip liner. Let me show you guys this one. I'm running out of space, you guys. Now that is so, so pretty. Look at all these tones, you guys. You guys have different ranges that you guys can choose from. They are so, so freaking pretty. Let me wipe these off and we'll be right back with lip liner. 
All right, you guys, so um, I wiped it off um, and we are back with lip liners. So I'm just gonna jump right into it. The first one that I'm gonna show you guys, they are from MAC. They are two lip liners. It's in cork and oak. Um, I noticed that the stripped down liners from MAC, or maybe it was just all the ones that I was getting, um, they're kind of hard, like stiff. They're not like smooth like the other ones. Um, so I don't know. I don't know if I just have bad luck choosing them or they're all like that, but let's get moving. So the first one I'm gonna show you guys is Cork. This is also a very popular one. Um, it's more of like a mid dark tone nude, just to let you guys know. Let's see. I'm not sure. This is how this one looks like. It's a brown. I love this for a good overline color. Another one that I wanna show you guys is oak. Oak is more lighter, but it's still in the brown tone. That is so pretty, you guys. The next ones that I do want to show you guys is from Morphe. These two are my favorite. One is a brown tone and one is a pink tone. So the first one that I'm going to show you guys is Spiffy. This is actually my second one. I'm already like down to just that. Um, it is a brown tone. It is light. Um, let me just show you guys. Well, it's not like super light, but it's still like a very good nude tone um, lip liner. It's, when I meant light, it is lighter um, compared to cork. As you see, cork is a little bit darker. And if I'm not looking at the camera, it's because I'm looking behind the camera since my mirror is there and I can't really see if I'm in the view or if the swatches I'm doing is in the view. So I apologize for that. And then the next one is actually more of a pinky nude. This is one of my favorite, favorite pinky nudes. Um, this is from Morphe as well. This is Backseat Love. I'm also pretty sure that Manny MUA also uses this shade. It's like also one of his favorites. Who else uses it? Um, Pony's makeup as well. I've seen her use it a few times too. Let's see. So that one looks like that. So pretty. Now I'm gonna show you guys um, a lip liner from Charlotte Tilbury. This one is the Charlotte Tilbury Lip Cheat Reshape and Resize Lip Liner in Pillow Talk. Now, we all know that Pillow Talk from Charlotte Tilbury is very popular, even the lipstick. Um, and I guess she also made lip glosses to go with it as well. Like Pillow Talk just, you know, has its own line. But let me show you guys the swatch. Let me just do it down here so you guys can. They are close in shade, so I guess if you are looking for a more affordable um, dupe to the backseat, I mean, if you are looking for a more affordable dupe to the pillow talk, I definitely do backseat love. But I will say that the Charlotte Tilbury one is more warmer and more pink tone than the backseat love from Morphe. And the last three products that I will be showing, they are from KKW. Um, these lip liners, you guys, are so, they're like high end, but like um, affordable high end. And they are so freaking creamy and so good. Yeah, so let's get to swatching. So the first one that I'm gonna show you guys is in the shade nude 1.5 this is also the lip liner that i have on as well so my lip combo today is kkw nude 1.5 and the nyx um 
what is it called the nyx this is milky gloss and cookies and milk so that's all i have on my lips today let me show you guys this one there's that it is close to um the morphe spiffy except that spiffy is a little bit more cool tone compared to the kkw one the next one that i'm gonna show you guys is um lip liner nude point two this one is a little bit darker and i can say it's a little bit comparable to cork except that i believe this one is a little bit more warm tone with a little bit more or i mean not orange a little bit more of a um, yellow tone i guess you can say to it because if you compare it to uh, cork cork looks a little bit more cool tone than this one And also I have 90s glam it's also been a favorite of mine that I've been wearing like last month but let me show you guys what it looks like oh. so that's what that one looks like it's more of a purpley mauve brown I want to describe it as and I have one more lip liner to show you guys and that will conclude my nudes favorite video. The last one that I have to show you guys is the ColourPop Lippy Pencil. This is in the shade BFF. Let me show you guys what this one looks like. I love to just wear this one by itself. It's gonna be such a messy swatch, but yes. This one is like a pinky brown nude. It is super freaking pretty. I love to just wear it by itself. And also with just um, a nude pink lip gloss as well. Okay, you guys, so that will conclude my video for today. That is all I have um, as far as nude favorites go. Um, Pharaoh's getting fussy, so I do have to go attend to him now, but I'll make the outro very quick. Thank you guys for watching this video. Please like and subscribe and comment down below any other videos you would like to watch or go ahead and leave me a message. Um, that's fine too. Yeah, I guess I already said like, comment, and subscribe. But again, thank you guys so much for watching. I hope you guys enjoyed this video and I'll see you guys next time. Bye!